I went into this deep cruddy powder and I fell and then one ski went straight in. I spent who knows how long looking for it. There's no way you're gonna find it. I had to ski down on one ski. Welcome to downtown Bariloche! Today was our first day of skiing and on the last run I actually caught the slope on video so we'll put it up right now. I decided not to go down the center and got adventures and went down on the left side in the deep cruddy powder. It was really inconsistent. Some of it was soft, some was hard. I kind of went over a jump, skis went into the snow, only one came out. I spent half an hour planting with my pole to try and find the other ski. The snow was so deep, gone. I had to ski down the rest of the way on one ski. We found one store that has the brand of ski that I like. So hopefully I might be able to buy a pair. If not, it's renting tomorrow for me. These skis are not mine. We could not find skis that I wanted to buy last night, so I've ended up with these rentals. But I am going to go back and try and dig out my skis today. So this looks to be the place where I fell yesterday and lost my ski in all of this snow. It's pretty deep. Look how deep my pole goes here, all the way down. So what I plan to do is a little looking around for my ski. Now that I have two skis to stand on, it's easier for me to stay up on top of this mess and poke around for my pole. So here goes nothing. Okay, that's all she wrote for tonight. It's 4.15, probably should head out, but I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna find my ski. Oh man, I searched the wrong area. I was searching up here, and it turns out I come down a little bit, and this is the big dip that I remember hitting. My ski is probably somewhere in here, and this is a little branch that I remember kind of as a marker. There was a small branch up there that I thought was this branch. So, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, what are you looking for? Back for round two of searching for my ski. Unfortunately, last night they groomed this slope a little bit. So this section here was not groomed and I'm concerned that right here is somewhere where my ski may be. But I'm gonna look somewhere in here. Hopefully I can find it still. I came off of here, you notice there's a little dip. I had to have landed somewhere here. We've searched all this area, even down there, can't find it. I think we've done all we can do. We are really appreciating this view because we rode up the gondola with a ski instructor this morning who told us that it's really rare that the clouds are this low in Bariloche. So, take it in. So this is the town that's right at the base of Cerro Catedral. If you're staying in Bariloche, you either take a bus, your own car, or a taxi up to the resort on this road, and then you come down right here on this road. Depending on what time in the morning you arrive, there may be a long backup getting up to the resort. There's pay parking right here, which runs about $7.50 a day, and free parking is up here. If you opt for the free parking, it's a very long walk. You see a lot of hitchhikers trying to get back to the resort after they've taken the free parking. back one final attempt to find the ski so kick back relax and let's find it
We have officially called off the search. It was a little bit easier in some places today because the snow has melted a little bit. You could push your pole much further in, but other areas are like cement now. And I think those cement areas are where the ski might be. So if you're in Bariloche and Ciro Catedral in the summer and you find a head World Cup Rebel ski, you know who to contact. Back in the U.S., I found the current year's version of my skis available online. But they also had last year's version available for about half the price. Problem is, the only length left from last year was five centimeters shorter than what I typically like to ski with. So, is five centimeters worth five to six hundred dollars more? I thought no. So I went with the shorter skis, and that's what I'll be using this year. Chasing a bitch